Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video and today we have another layout from Richmond, Virginia. So me and my mom went to church and then we made it a couple errands and looked around the city a little bit on the, our way back to the hotel room and we decided to stop into this Main Street station. It was one of the first buildings I saw when we drove into Richmond, Virginia and it just looked so cool. There was so much architecture and it just looked like a really interesting building and it was open for viewers. So we're like, hey, let's go look around while we're out and about. Out. and it was so cool it was an old train station I don't know if it's still active or not it was completely empty when we went um, but it just was really really cool so I have a couple pictures from there I decided to use all four of them in this grid pattern I've made a layout like this similar before like it was when we visited um, Waco Texas and went to the silos <laughs> so if you like this kind of design there is another layout I have a process video for that's very similar uh, but I thought it would be really cool to kind of do this four photo grid and just kind of decorate these little clusters. <laughs> so you'll see as we get going, I'm really trying to coordinate the uh, photos on the diagonal. So the upper left photo and the upper right or the lower right photo will have similar layers and the upper right photo and the lower left photo will have similar layers and that just automatically helps with my balancing um, because everything is all automatically balanced across the page so I did actually go into I realized when I was doing the cat layout from the Poe Museum seeing the cats with this collection like triggered my memory <laughs> and i was like wait a minute i've seen this before so i went through my stash and i actually have the my mind's eye meow paper pad which has a lot of the same colors that this collection does um, and i only have one 12 by 12 left at this point so i decided for this layout since there's four photos a lot of the backgrounds going to be covered i decided to actually pull in a 12 by 12 from that meow paper pad instead of using my last felicity jane 12 by 12. so that's where that paper came from i'm really happy i remembered that <laughs> because i'll be able to pull in that paper pad more this month um, as we get going and i start kind of dwindling on my Felicity Jane products, I can still kind of sneak in some papers from the Meow collection. <laughs> so that's my background, and so I'm pretty much just using scraps from there to layer everything. Really trying to take an opportunity to use a lot of the smaller scraps that I have sitting to the side. <laughs> I really want to pull in more of this neon green, a couple of the um, plaid scraps, and I also want to pull in a little bit of this orangey tone. I haven't really used this orangey tone and the neon green together. I think it's kind of a weird combo, but it actually works together. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to play with that. So you can see I matted this statue over here in the neon green, and now this photo next to it. I'm trying to pull in some of that orangey pink tone. Um, and so I'm just getting my baby layers down. I did go ahead and mat all of the photos in just a skinny white border. Um, just so they all started out the same <laughs> and then from there i can kind of play on doing different layers but i really don't have a ton of scraps at this point there are a few scraps i kind of want to save for my next page i'm um, really trying to use up a lot of the smaller scraps on this one so i do pull in um, that stack of the black and white six by six from my grab bag that kelly sent me um, i end up getting four of them i think on this page so that was nice because those six by six have been sitting in my stash and i really just needed something that can kind of pull all four of these photos and their different clusters together and make them look cohesive but still have their own layering style so this was perfect because i could choose a different um black and white pattern for each photo but because they're big black and white patterns they all look very cohesive so i really love that <laughs> now that each of these photos kind of have their own layer whether it's the lime green floral or the polka dot or the pink plaid um, they all are going to have this black and white layer second <laughs> i really like that so i'm going to go ahead and glue all the photos down you'll see as soon as i do this though this black and white pattern kind of disappears into the background just because the white is on the white uh, so even though i haven't inked anything on this page yet i do decide to go ahead and ink around this black and white layer just because i want it to stand apart from the background and i really don't want it to look confusing when you see the white running onto the white so the inked edge really helps to find all of these layers and you'll see that in a minute um i think i'm just trying to figure out where i want to put this last little scrap I'm just trying to tuck in little bits 
Um, I really wanted this to be even more layery than it ended up being. <laughs> Uh, but I was really happy with how my colors were balanced, so I wasn't wanting to pull in like the mustard in the collection, you know. So I tried to stick to what I kind of had already. But you can see, especially that lower light, white, uh, lower right photo, no, lower left. Directions are hard. The black and white print, <laughs> the white is really confusing when it runs onto the background, especially that lower left photo. So I'm inking everything right now and you'll see a big difference when I lay these back on the background. You can really see the distinguished edges and that really helps with my design. So I decided to also ink the background just so it's all cohesive. <laughs> um, this background's pretty plain, which is why I chose it. I really wanted something simple that had design, but something I could build off of. It wouldn't be distracting. Um, but the, the inked edge really helps make this all cohesive. So especially now all the photo layers are inked <laughs> that kind of goes with the background it all looks really nice together um, now i just want to add a few layering details everything's very square and blocky so i want to have a few areas where i have stuff sticking out of these layers or these photos and kind of branch out with some embellishment so i had a scrap of this um, floral neon green so i'm just trimming a piece of it into a tag that's going to stick out from the top of the upper right corner and then I will still have a scrap of that because I'm going to gut what's going to be hidden behind that photo. So I will then take that scrap and trim it into a fishtail banner. And that will stick out of the left of the lower left hand photo. That way that print, you can see a little bit more of it. You get a little peek of it in the lower right hand photo. Uh, but that color really kind of grabs your attention as it sticks out of these layers and balances the page since they're in opposite corners. And I really like that. But I'm just wanting to glue everything down, make sure everything's lined up. <laughs> And then I will glue this little tag down. I just threaded it with some uh, black and white twine just to go with the Felicity Jane theme. And then here's that scrap here that I'm trimming to a fishtail. And that looks really cute sticking out of that little cluster there. So I really like, <laughs> I really like that. Um, you can see what I have left in this collection to the left here. That That's the embellishment. I still have some a little bit more paper. Um, but I'm really trying to look to the left there and see <laughs> what I have. Um, and see if I can't get get as much of that used up as possible. So I definitely want to use one of these black and white words. I still have three of them left, and I really want to try and get them used up this month. Uh, so I, I can either use family or autumn, and I have two autumns uh, because I have one left over from the first time I used that embellishment pack, so I really want to try and get one of them used up. Um, I did take this orangey coral scallop branding strip and I cut that into two pieces so I'm going to have that running along diagonal photos as well and then I'm thinking I'm going to put one of those words uh, on this little horizontal shelf in the upper right hand corner <laughs> so I like that but I'm just trying to build it out and make it look a little bit interesting I really like how these layers and the colors are looking but it's still very blah so I'm really trying to make some of this look interesting <laughs> and since I am pulling in this scalloped I, uh, piece I do have one more tab left over of the same color that just says happy so I decided to go ahead and layer that up there by the tag as well just to bring more of that little color <clears throat> I think I had a little scrap of a pink uh, pink scrap too that I decided to cut into a fishtail and add to the lower left hand corner as well <laughs> Um, I'm really trying to look at some of my stash that I've kind of ignored and not looked at that much and see what I can get on here. Uh, I really wanted to get these last two florals on here, but they don't end up making it. <clears throat> but that is a, there is that pocket card that I used a circle punch to punch out the grateful. And I really decided I kind of wanted to get that used up because I haven't, <laughs> I've ignored that all month long <laughs> and it's a cute little piece. So I'm going to end up tucking that behind this little scallop detail to kind of give you some interest down in the lower left hand corner. I kind of wanted a word here since I'm kind of thinking about using one of those bigger words in the upper right hand corner. Um, that way it's not distracting and these words aren't competing, but there's still something interesting in this other corner. <laughs> So I'm going to glue down that autumn. I think that looks nice. And then um, I was trying to debate on if I wanted to do Nouveau Drops or not, but I've had these cutie little acrylic hearts from Redefine Creative sitting next to me all month. And I've been really trying to go for the Nouveau Drops and stuff <laughs> for the most part. Um, but for this layout, I really wanted to go for these really cute acrylic hearts. So I'm just going to put one of them down in my smaller cluster and then two up by my title. 
And I think that's like the perfect little finishing touch. So this page ended up pretty simple, but this is a really great design for getting four, especially square photos used up. I really like doing this grid and trying to make them look uniform, but give each kind of photo collage a different, uh, a different element. <laughs> and I'm just titling it or not titling it, but I do a little bit of journaling. It just says Main Street Station, just so I, I have it written where we are. But um, this was a really fun one. So here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.